This video essay is the result of a seminar on dynamic mapping held in the Department of Geography at Penn State in the spring of 1991. Here we explore how elementary design principles devised in the context of static graphics apply in the medium of animation. We will show that animation introduces three dynamic variables that augment the set of visual variables cartographic designers use to create static maps. In a second essay entitled Uses of the Temporal Dimension in Cartographic Animation, we present a range of strategies by which these dynamic variables can be exploited in geographic analysis and communication. Our approach is to consider how the fundamental design elements of static graphics, what Jacques Bertin has called the visual variables, behave in a non-static visual medium. Bertin identified seven visual variables in his Semiology of Graphics, first published in French in 1967. Since publication of an English translation in 1983, the semiology has been widely cited in the social science literature, especially by geographers and cartographers. Adaptations of Breton's original matrix commonly appear in cartography texts and design-oriented cartographic research articles. We have included ten visual variables in the matrix shown here, including several identified by cartographers after Breton. Our matrix of visual variables includes the x and y dimensions of the plane, size, color value, color hue, color saturation, orientation, shape, arrangement, texture, and focus. Breton's graphic sign system is particularly appealing to those of us whose business it is to design unambiguous graphic representations of the human and physical world. He asserts that each variable corresponds with a set of signifying properties or levels of data measurement. We use the terms nominal, ordinal, and interval ratio here. According to Breton, ambiguous representations can be avoided by correctly matching the signifying properties of the visual variables with the levels of measurement of the data. While our matrix is inclusive, we do not claim that it is exhaustive. Indeed, we are not concerned with deriving and defending an ultimate set of visual variables. Our interest in the concept stems from the fact that the visual variables have proven useful as a tool for both cartographic instruction and applied design. Our intent is to explore the utility of an accepted design tool in a dynamic new medium. Breton warns us, however, that his semiology is not applicable to animation since, quote, the intervention of real movement would make us pass from the graphic system into film, whose laws are very different, unquote. We question Breton's assumption that the design of static graphics is an entirely different matter from the design of dynamic graphics. Are the visual variables relevant to cartographic animation? Does the medium of animation introduce new variables or alter correspondences with the signifying properties? In the following, we consider these questions by viewing cartographic applications of the seven main visual variables. Do the signifying properties of the visual variables persist when we move beyond static graphics into animation? Let's consider a few examples. A single point in motion, for example, on an animated map of the southwestward shift of the center of gravity of the United States population, can represent the direction, amount, and rate of the demographic shift.
Changing the positions of aerial features is an obvious strategy for depicting a phenomenon like continental drift. As in a static graphic, comparison of two or more animated entities allows us to make nominal, ordinal, and interval ratio level distinctions. We can discriminate two similar entities due to their different locations. We can rank the relative smoothness or abruptness of the movement of each entity. And we can judge the proportion of the length of one entity's path relative to another. Changing the size of a point symbol is an intuitive strategy for representing the changing magnitude of a discrete enumeration unit. As in static maps, size is an effective variable for depicting ordinal and interval ratio distinctions in dynamic maps.